What the hell is this? Helga? Yes, I'm coming. I'm making some pancit. Yes, what's the matter? Can you explain this to me, please? Oh, this? This one, yes. We use this to washi washi our bum bum. We use this to bath. We use this to sometimes brush our teeth. And we use this for many, many things, but mostly to wash our bum bum, mister. Well, you know you can use toilet paper, right? Yeah, I know, but this is way better than toilet paper because it makes our bum bum super fresh and clean, mister. That's very interesting. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Oh, you're very welcome. Let me just excuse myself because I'm just cooking some pancit and I know you're very hungry, mister. Okay, see you later. Okay. Oh my god, what now? Mm, stinky here. Are you decent? Here, cover yourself. Make sure you flush the toilet, okay? And I show you up there. Okay, but use the taboo without splashing myself. So in the Philippines, we don't have a separate shower. This is where we shit and this is where we shower also. So splashing water all over is not a big deal. Philippines, we don't sit on the toilet. We squat because we couldn't afford for a sit on the toilet. And I show you how to demonstrate washing your bum bum, okay? So now I turn around to show you how to clean your bum bum. First, make sure there's water here. Then you hold this tabo on the right hand. And this left hand you use to clean your bum bum. Are you ready? Okay, so first, put your... Put the tabo here and then put your hand over here. As soon while you're pouring the water, you pour the water and then go up and down, pour the water up and down, like that, like that, like that. And then when you feel the bum bum is clean, then that should be already ite. Now that your bum bum is clean, always make sure that you smell your hand. When your hand is stinky, you wash it with soap. Your hands are not only clean, your bum bum as well. Okay, listen up, people. Tabo is not only for washing the bum bum, for showering yourself, it is also a holy grail for most Filipina women out there. As part of our culture and as part of being a Filipina woman, it is very important to have a very good hygiene using the tabo. Now, if you're a lady or a woman in the Philippines, it is very important that you wash your JJ every night, especially when you have a husband. Otherwise, you are not a lady. There are two ways to wash your JJ. First, you either sit down like this, like this. You spread your legs and you get wet, and then you washi washi your JJ. It's the same thing how you wash your bum bum. Or you can squat like this, like this. Do it like that, like that. But it's better if you sit like this. It's easier and it's cleaner that way. Now, when you have a Filipina wife and when you hear this noise in the bathroom, that means she is washing her JJ, getting ready for later. Okay. What's all that splashing I keep hearing in the washroom? Oh, it's Nanya. What's Nanya? It's none of your business. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, especially for the men, don't you think that you can get away from not using the tabo? Yes. You can also use the tabo to make yourself clean. Tabo is not only to wash your bum bum, to shower, and to washi washi your JJ. It's also to washi washi your ding dong. And it's only fair for you to wash your ding dong when you have a girlfriend or a wife. And don't think that she's the only one who has to washi washi her JJ. You have to washi washi yourself too to make it fair. So in order to make your ding dong fresh, you must washi washi your bum bum first. Same goes to woman. You must washi washi your bum bum too before you washi washi your JJ. Then you do the same thing as women do. Spread your legs like this and you washi washi like that. But there's another way I can show you to make it easier so that you don't have to washi washi your ding dong like a woman. But first, you must make sure that the water is warm enough for your ding dong not to be cold. Now, I got some water with a little bit of soap in it. That way your ding dong smells very good. I'm just gonna open my ding dong, okay? This is how you do. You put your ding dong like that. Make, make it like that. Make sure you wash it, wash it like this, like that, around this too, right here. Yes. This is how you wash it, wash it your ding dong. It's going to be fresh and clean and your wife and girlfriend will love it for sure. There you go. There, this is an easy way of washing your ding dong. Your ding dong, it is now fresh and clean and you dry it after.
elbow is not only for washing the bum bum. For shower, washing the bajiji and ding dong or for washing the face. We also use bucket and tabo to water our plants. Last time I created a video of how we use tabu in the Philippines. Mainly we use it in many ways as part of our Filipino culture. One main thing is we use tabu as part of cleaning our bottom. Many commented in that video, why not just use the bidet, it would be so much easier. You have to realize that many people in the Philippines don't even own their bathroom. How much more using a bidet? You may think that Westerners and Filipino have the same washroom, right? Well, you're mistaken. Many Filipino doesn't even own this kind of washroom. This kind of toilet is still considered excellent compared to the unfortunate ones. And this is the reason most Filipino squats when we use the toilet because we don't have a bathroom seat and automatic flush in the toilets. You may think it's dangerous to sit on the toilet if you choose to squat. Well, you're wrong again. Filipinos are tiny people and most bathrooms are strong enough for us to squat. And by the way, we don't say bathroom, toilets, or restroom. We say CR. It means comfort room. 